paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A sermon. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. Let's take a ride on the magic school bus. Back in time to 2004, when things were conducted primarily on old school telephone systems, Telnet VBSs, IRC chat rooms, on TeamSpeak, and using Shoutcast radio servers. A time before Blog Talk Radio, a time before YouTube, a time before Facebook and Twitter, before Skype, before Google Hangouts. Before smartphones, before Angry Birds and Farmville. A time when a wall was something you had four of in your bedroom, and a feed was dinner at your in-laws. A time before all of the things we take for granted today. Let's travel back to the four episodes of the Pointless Audio Radio Show on Osprey Radio. A show that was an act of civil disobedience against our would-be corporate overlords, where we trolled the corporations to reveal their corruption and incompetence, and had fun doing it. A time before my early balding set in fully, I actually had some hair to speak of. You are about to hear a series of prank calls, comedy skits, mega mixes, and more. Before we occupied everything, Back in the days when we truly were all anonymous, when channeling wasn't well known, quantum physics was a word you only heard on Star Trek, and New Age was merely a reference to something that happened in the 60s. Warning. The views and opinions in this or any show are not the views and opinions of Osprey Network. We at Osprey Networks are not responsible or right about now the funk soul brother check it out now the funk soul brother right about now the funk soul brother check it out now turn that shit off man what's wrong with you man get the other record that motherfucking goddamn degenerate fucking cunt Hi everybody, we're broadcasting that with Pointless Audio on the third series. Uh, today's uh, guest, uh, we have uh, Eli Slasher John and T-Man himself. And we're making a wonderful phone calls as we always do here on the Pointless Audio program. We're now starting off with Slasher. Slasher's taking the first call. Yeah, uh, I was calling about installing Windows, installing Windows? and uh, 
problem. Before. And I looked all over the uh, internet, uh, and I found your number, and, I, found and number I figured you could help me install in, uh, uh, Windows. Um, uh, I'll tell you here in front of my PC, so please give me a call. 662-842-8422. Thank you. Wonderful. So I'll give John the waste management. Uh, let's try this one. Now, am I calling about Porter Johns? We're sorry. The toll-free number you have dialed is not available from your area. But I need a <laughs> shitter! <laughs> Assholes! I need a shitter! Assholes! All right, Eli. That's two gone to hell. That's, That's two, two going to hell. Thank God we got a shitload of them. Uh, all right, Eli, you and your propane. All right. All right. Thank you for calling Suburban's Emergency Call Center. Your call may be recorded for quality control purposes. So will yours. In order to expedite your call, please select one of the following options. To report a spill or gas leak, press 1 now. To report equipment failure, or if you need emergency repair, press 2. Eli, do you have equipment failure? Emergency delivery of propane or fuel oil, press 3 now. If you propane, propane, your bill, propane, propane. Scheduling an appointment. I'm sorry, thank you for calling Suburban. This is Angela. How may I help you? Yes, do you have gas? Do we have gas? This is the after hours service yes. center. Um, are yes. you out of gas? Yes. Hello? You're out of gas? Yes. Could I get your telephone number, please? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. I'm sorry, we have a bad connection, sir. Could I have your telephone number? 410. Okay. 965 147. Okay, let me just look that up for you. One moment, please. Hello, are you still there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm just looking up your account, sir. I don't think I have one. I'm a, I'm a new caller. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, are you on a cell phone? I'm having, or is this my phone that's doing this? Uh, I, I'm on a cell phone, but it, oh. it's probably yours because I've got a really good service. You do. Okay. Um, cause we're not coming through very good here. Um, uh, that's not good. Can you hear me all right though? Because yeah, I can hear I, well, you just you're, fine. You're, you're breaking up a lot. Um, sir, what do you use the gas for? Is it for heating or for water? Sir? Uh, heating. It's yeah, for heating. heating. Okay, and are you out right now? Yes. Yes, you're yes. out. Okay. Um, hold on just a second, okay? Thank you. Not a problem. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for holding. We appreciate your time and patience. <laughs> <laughs> like a more pizza. Like a more That's a ravioli. That's a ravioli. Okay, sir. Um, could I get... Oh, this is such a bad... Um, could I get your information, your name, your address, telephone number? Uh, just give me my telephone number. Okay, but uh, what about a home number where the delivery's going to be made? I don't have a home number. I just have a cell phone for my home number. Okay, that's fine. Um, the cell phone number is 410-965-1647? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and yes, your name? Mark Osprey. Could you spell that, please? O-S... Uh, yeah, O-S-P-R-E-Y. Uh, yeah, okay, and the address? It is 400 mm -hmm. is East Varn Street. Could you spell that? Could you say that again? Orin? Varn. Could you spell that? Sir, we have a very bad connection. I'm having a hard time hearing you. I have 400 East... V-A-R-N. V-A-R-N? Yes, ma'am. V-A-R-N. 400 East Varn, V-A-R-N? Yes. Okay, yes. the city? Um, other than, uh... Could, could you spell that? Uh, yeah, I know. We have a very bad connection, sir. Could you spell the city, please? R-O-A-D-I-S-L-A-N-D. Okay, so that was, what's it, Rhode Island? Yes. And is that in North Carolina? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, and can I have yes, your zip code, please? From out of bank. Okay. 28072. 28072. Okay, and you, are you, you're currently out of propane, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm out of gas. Is it propane that you're using? Yes, ma'am. Okay, propane. Okay, and you use this for heating. Okay, we will, um, let me make sure I have everything I need here. Okay, we will dispatch this. I think, I, I, think I have a blockage. Oh, you, you're having a problem also with your tank? It might, yeah. It might yeah, have a blockage. Okay. But I, I also need gas. I need gas. I think I had a blockage. I had to get gas to get rid of it. You need to get gas to get rid of the blockage? Do you think the blockage is in your furnace or at the tank? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Okay. I, I'll put that in the notes for the driver, okay? Um, will you need the driver to relight your pilot for you? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Need relit. 
Okay. Okay, but you're definitely out of gas, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. we will, um, so the cell phone I do not have any gas. I do not have okay, any so gas. Okay, so the cell phone number is the number you want them to reach you on. And let me just verify the information I have yes, for you. It's yes, Mark Osprey, O-S-P-R-E-Y, and that's 400 East Varn Street, V-A-R-N, Rhode Island, R-O-A-D, I-S-L-A-N-D, North Carolina, 28072. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, and okay, we will get this in and we'll have a driver give you a call with an ETA, okay? All right, and he can fix the blockage? Right. Fix the well, blockage. We're, I'm going to put it in there. Um, it depends on who's bringing it out, sir. A tech may have to come separately for that. Um, hold on just a second, please. Let me, let me check with someone, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you for holding. We look forward to talking with you soon. She can get your furnace on. And we'll be right back with you. Mark, um, it's, a t it's a tech that's on call, so he'll be able to check your blockage and give you some propane, okay? All right. So we'll tell him. Right. I, I think I just farted, but I, I should I be all right now. Excuse me? Is this, is this, an, actual, what, what? Is this an actual actual call, sir? Yes, ma'am. Hold on. Holding. We all right, well, I'm that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's like, um, hold on. Um, I'm hanging up. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> uh, I'd have to say that was the, one of the best on Pointless Audio. All right, Eli, you ready for this uh, search of Scientology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do we want to jump to the drug yes, abuse hotline for John? Yes, go, go on, do John, and then go we'll come back. All right. All right, time for Google. me to call the Mormons. Okay, try okay, this one. 1-800-553-9987. The truck of you, son? It's out of Greenwood, Delaware. The number you have dialed has a new National Directory Assistance Service. Please dial 1010. 27500 to be connected to a new National Directory Assistance Service brought to you by Tel7. Each call costs three dollars a Yeah, fuck you! Who are you? I'm gonna play that game. I've also got the number to dare. Ooh. Alright, give me that one. 1 800 223 3273. I'll do a ranting and raving about how it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, 2 3 Yeah, 2 3 2 3 32 32 Thank you for calling Dare America. If you know the extension of the person you would like to reach, press 1. For company directory, press 2. <coughs> to leave a message on our general voicemail, press 3. Press Please 3. Leave a message. Press and don't three. forget to visit our website at www.dare.com. Thank you for calling Dare America. Please visit our website at www.dare.com. <coughs> Um, how are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I don't know who this call needs to be directed to, but uh, I just have one thing to say about the D.A.R.E. program. I went through it as a kid. All, all the kids I knew went through it as a kid. And it really don't seem to work. It seems like, in fact, that the kids that graduated at the top of my D.A.R.E. class were the first ones to start smoking pot. I mean, I, 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 it's all, <laughs> I know it's all well and good what you guys are trying to do there, but... Um, you know, you come around, the cops come around with a case of drugs and drug paraphernalia, and all it does for us is just shows us what to look for when we're out on the street and somebody offers us something. Then we know whether or not it's good or bad drugs. You know, and, and I'm sorry, every single person I knew who did good in the D.A.R.E. program ended up becoming a severe drug addict, and I don't know who this call should be directed to, but I'd just like to say, you know, my name is Mark Osprey. That's M-A-R-K-O-S-P-R-E-Y. And I'd like to make my stand that D.A.R.E. should be redone and they should threaten kids to not use drugs. They should threaten them with force to not use drugs because just <laughs> walking in there and showing a case of drugs to them is just helping them find what drugs they need when they get older. I mean, the first thing, uh, my best friend got hooked on crack, but he didn't, at first, he didn't realize it was crack until he remembered what he saw in the case back in elementary school and then realized that he'd been smoking something completely different and then he started finding the good crack and started smoking that. And, and there's some serious stuff going on. I think you really need to rework your D.A.R.E. program. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that was all. Um, that's good. Oh, shit. And the sad part about it is it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my turn. Mormon motherfuckers. Hello, this is Mary. Thank you for calling to request a visit from representatives of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Hi, Mary. How are you tonight? Fine. How about yourself? I, I, I'm just feeling the power of the Holy Spirit right now that I just had to call Mary. I, I just watched one of your videos uh -huh. that, that one of my neighbors gave me. Yes. And, and my God, I, I, I feel the Holy Spirit. It, it, it was the Family First video. Yes, yes. It, and, uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm feeling that Holy Spirit. Well, that is wonderful. Um, may I have your phone number, area code first? Sure, it's uh, 401. Okay, 401. 401. That's correct. And your zip code, please. 02895. 0295. Yep. Okay, and may I have your name and will you spell it, please? Sure, it's Mark, M A R K. Last name's Osprey, O S P R E Y. Okay, I have first name Mark, M A R K. Last name Osprey, O S P R E Y. Yes, that, that, that that's right, ma'am. And your address, please. Sure, it's a. Uh, Federal, F-E-D-E-R-A-L, Street, Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Okay. Okay, I have Federal, F-E-D-E-R-A-L, Street, Woonsocket, W-O-O-N-S-O-C-K-E-T, Rhode Island, 02895. Yes, ma'am, that, that, that's right. Okay, and to help us better serve those who call us, may I ask your age, please? Sure, I'm 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 26. 26. Yes. Okay. And I, I I'm really feeling the Holy Spirit. Uh, I don't know if you could send me like one of these books of Mormon, like before you, the missionaries get here. Um, uh, let me see if I can do that for you. Um, because I I I want to start reading that, and I I don't have a very good connection to the internet. Okay. Uh, I, I'm using a Commodore 64. Okay. So it, it, it's slow as molasses. Yes. <laughs> but Microsoft says I can put Windows 95 on it, so I'm going to try that soon. Okay. No, what I'm, I'm not seeing where I can send that to you at this time. But oh. once the uh, representatives come, you can uh, request that from them, and they should be able to help you. Oh, that, 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 that'd be great. Okay. Now, would you also like uh, to provide us with an email address so that we can inform you of future special offers or events that may be of interest spe to you? Spe special offers? What kind of special offers? Do you sell stuff? Do you try to sell your religion? No, not at all. You're, you're, you're scaring me here. Oh, uh, the no, Holy Spirit's it's not, not with me anymore. It, it, it's scaring me. Oh, no. They uh, come up with new videos to send out. And they would just inform you of these new videos. Oh, uh, that, 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 that's great. Can, um, sure, you can have my email. Okay. It, it's uh, Mark, M-A-R-K. Okay. At. Okay. Um, Roland, R-O-L-A-N-D, P-E-L-L-S-A-L-E-S -L -L -E dot B-I-Z. Okay, just to confirm, I have M-A-R-K. Yep, Mark at, at Roland. Hell sales dot biz. Okay. Now, church representatives in your area will be visiting you. Do, um, do you know what their names are? I know. I sure don't. Oh, so I'm just going to have two random guys walking up to my house? Yes, yes. Are they going to be on, like, a... Are they going to have a car, or are they going to have, like, a bicycle? Um... Because yeah. I've seen them riding around the city. On, like, yes. bicycles? Yes, they do. They ride their bicycles. Yeah, I, I, I think one of them got hit the other day, too. Oh, that's that's not good at all. No, I was going to stop, but I was I, I was trying to get to a job. Right. Yeah, I, I just started this new job. 
Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. Jobs are hard to find these days, for sure. You have no idea. <laughs> uh, now, to better accommodate your schedule... Is Do they pay you good to answer the phone? Um, Maybe I can get a job with the church. Uh, well, yes, you could definitely speak to representatives about that and see if there's something they, can, they have that can help you out. Uh, now, would you prefer that they visit you in the morning, afternoon, or evening? Mm, probably in, like, the afternoon. Afternoon, okay. Yeah, probably around 11 or 12 is usually when I wake up. Okay, well, now I see that I can send you the Book of Mormon. Oh, you can? Yes. Great. Um... Uh, what 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 changed? The Holy uh, Spirit over there? Yeah. It jumped out of me and went to you. I want it back. <laughs> uh, yes, it, it did jump up here. Um, and it's, may I ask which free special offer you called in on today? And um, we have quite a, a, a list, but I remember you did ask for the Book of Mormon. Yeah, Is that what you would like? Definitely. De yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the, you don't charge me shipping or anything, right? Oh, no, no. There's no charge for this information at all. Oh, thank God. Okay. Our representatives will visit you to, to deliver your free offer. Great. Uh, in the meantime, I'd like to invite you to visit our website at www.mormon.org for additional information about the church. M m my neighbor said I could go to LDS, too. Or is it LSD? I don't remember. Uh, I'm not sure of that information, uh, but this is our website. It's, it's, uh, it's a mormon.org? That's right, mormon.org. Oh, okay. now, now, the missionary is going to know anything about the polygamy program at all? Because uh, that, that, that's one thing that kind of freaks me out. Yeah. Is because I, 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 I have a hard enough time managing one wife. I, I, I can't afford to have, like, three. Right, right. Um... Uh, uh, and that that that, that kind of makes me a little nervous too about the church. Yes. Uh, now that I really don't know a lot about, because uh, what you reached is a call center. We take this information. From you guys the aren't in like Bombay, India, are you? Oh no. Oh, not thank at all. God. Southern Colorado. Oh, Colorado. I thought I was calling Utah. Uh, no, no, no. That's where the church is located, but uh, uh, we are. We do take the information for them here at this call center in Colorado. Oh, okay. oh, all right. Okay. That works. All right. Well, thank you for calling, and you have a blessed evening. You too, and may God bless you. Thank you so much. Yep. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Is it just me, or did she pick up a southern accent in the middle of that call? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Yeah. You, you did send that to the uh, Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, right? Uh, no, I sent that to the Catholic Youth Center. You gotta get that one right. The only problem is they might know what was asked. <laughs> but they never will recognize the Mark Osprey no name. And the more, the missionaries will probably turn away as soon as they see it. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 there's a big old priest name right in the front of the building. It's kind of great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, uh, Church of Sun... Co so, oh, wow, we're calling a lot of churches tonight. It, it, we, our show must be blessed by the Holy Spirit this week. I'll give you a Holy Spirit. Which church we're calling? Who are we, Who calling? Are we calling? You shall see. We did it. We did the it. Church of Scientology. Before you leave your message, please consider this. One day, every knee will bow every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, the glory of God the Father. How are you doing, sir? This is Frank Santos, the uh, <laughs> hypnotist. I got a call on my answering machine saying that Jesus um, was was a, ashamed of what I was doing and that it was of the devil when I was told that I could call your number um, to... Uh, to talk about Jesus, but evidently you don't answer your phone. I'm sorry to hear that because I really wanted to talk about Jesus. Um, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, we should have star six seven that. Oh, who the fuck cares? Well, no, because <laughs> you see, I hooked up the call from last time. <laughs> call. Call. Who do you want to call? We didn't make the call last time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, no, we, we did. called we Frank called Santos. Santos, so we told we you guys all gave him uh, Crazy Eddie's number. 
which is the one we just oh, called. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, Church of Scientology, Eli. Yeah, Eli, you're up. All right. We are the right. we are the Bog to Barry and Nation. I didn't hit that. Hello, and you have reached the Scientology Information Center on the Volunteer Mr. Hotline. We are available from 9.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Pacific Coast Time. Oh, cool. That's seven days a week. Oh, that's Please leave your name, address, oh, and phone number. You can contact you back. Much. Thank you for calling. I'm with the logs of the Aryan Nation. We would like you to publicly admit that Jesus Christ is your Savior and renounce all the science in your religion. Because Jesus is the true Savior, not science. Not science. I didn't hit that. Heil. Kuchentag. 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 Nick and do <laughs> Alright, I think uh, Slasher needs one now. Good luck at Spiel. Extreme Bind Run Hunt. Extreme Bind Run Hunt. That's you then. BBS Windows. The number you have reached. <laughs> Area code 8885267578 five, seven, eight. Eight. is not available at this time. Damn you! Call me telephone company. Call me telephone company. I'm going to need a hundred service number for that. Call any of my phones. If you are calling from your home phone and would like to discuss your account or are experiencing problems with your telephone service, please hang up and dial 611. Please enter the number you wish to reach or press 0 to reach the operator now. Who is it? Who is it? The operator. Who? No, who's gonna take it? Who? No, take it. Huh? This is Paul's, right? I mean, two names, right? Paul's, right? I mean, two names, right? Oh, uh, hello? This is a car communication operator. How may I help you? Yes, um, I'm wondering who I'd talk to about, uh, getting a donation from Cock Communications about, uh, for my, for my internet radio show. Okay, please hang up with me, master, and dial 611 for customer service, and they will assist you. And they're, they're, they're lo am I getting? Am I gonna get charged for this? No, man. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you, cause I do have a penis. <laughs> Assholes! They call me a man. They have. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> yes, I have a penis. Thank you for choosing Cox Communications. Your friend is in the digital United. age. For English, press one. Para español. To ensure the privacy of account information, please enter the last four digits of the number for the prime. Our departments are currently closed. Con to speak with a cable television one. To speak with a high-speed internet specialist, press two. To speak with a digital telephone specialist, press three. Going high-speed internet. We appreciate the opportunity to serve you. Please be aware that in order to effectively troubleshoot your Cox high-speed service, My you Cox. have access to your PC and <laughs> cable modem at the front of your car. <laughs> they want to troubleshoot my cock. The next available associate will be with you in a moment. Your call may be monitored or recorded to ensure quality service. So we can shove cocks in people's ass. Didn't mean cocks could communicate. Yeah. Hi, what was your name? Armando, sir. Armando? Yeah, Armando, yes. Armando, okay. How you doing, Armando? Uh, my name is uh, Mark Osprey, mm -hmm. and the uh, reason I'm calling Armando is um, I'm trying to find out um, what it would take to get a, uh, basically like a T1 put into my house, because um, I, I, I'm doing an internet radio show, and um, I'm trying to, I'm just seeing if uh, Cox could uh, provide that to me. Okay, I have no idea what a T1 is. <laughs> you have no idea what a T1 is? No, go ahead and explain that. Okay, to how about a, how about the an extremely extremely fast high speed internet? How 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 fast can Cox go? Uh, the fastest they go is five megabytes. Five megs. Uh, that that's only down, right? I need yes, up. Sir. Up is seven sixty eight, I believe. Seven sixty eight. Seven sixty eight. Kilobytes. Really. And, and do they do they block ports? Cause uh, I I can't have any ports blocked. I only mm, I can't remember that. Let me let me let me pull up a site. I think there. Okay. Because uh, I I need a really really fast connection here for my for uh, my internet radio station. Like I said. Mhm. Mm and um, I, I'm just trying to find the best deal and the best uh, 
No, basically, the best deal to get to get the bandwidth I need. Do you know what I mean? Exactly, sir. Block ports. I'm looking it up right now. I know we do block like one or two ports, or maybe I don't know. Really, one or two ports? Then they're not going to like try to shut me down because I, I'm running servers now, are they? No, sir. No. I, do, do you promise that one? I don't. You don't. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking. Well, well, well if I run the, if I run my server to uh, to stream audio over the internet, would they turn me off? No, oh, really. I mean, as long as you. As long as I don't run a website, right? I think if I remember right, that's all it was. As long as I do not have a website at all, but but I can stream my audio from the internet with your high speed internet. I'm not really sure. Let me um, I might have to check on that for you. Um, I'm showing um, showing a good bit of number of ports that we block. Oh, I thought you said you only block like two. The only reason we block certain of these certain ones is let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me guess. You block port 80, 23. No, wait. You don't block 23. 25. Yeah, 25, 110, uh, 80. Uh, what, what else do you block? 115, then, possibly. Well, well, not the 110 or 115. Well, we got a 135. Um, 135? Yeah. What the hell do you block 135 for? Well, it says... Um, 135 isn't even email. For the reason we said we do it is... um. Because there's a net send spam and pop ups and then also worms come along that line. Oh, that 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 that's not good. Um, do, do you do you block port uh, eight thousand? Does, does it show that? No, I don't see eight thousand on that. Because that 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 that's how I'd be streaming my internet radio. Mm-hmm. And uh, so so how how much would that cost me for that seven hundred? The Cox doesn't do like a five meg down, five meg up kind of thing, do they? No, sir, I don't believe so. The best thing to do, sir, honestly, the best thing to do would be to contact, um, go ahead and contact the number, uh, for Cox tomorrow between the hours of 12 and 6, because, um, I'm, but the thing is, I'm working with all markets right now. I'm in Georgia myself. You're in Georgia? Yeah, I work with all markets. I work with, um, Nationwide, and there, the thing is, for the current and up-to-date averages, yep. and what ports are blocked in your area, and what also, exa- uh, what, um, discounts or sales they might have or specials they might have be having right now, I would suggest you contact the, the sales representatives tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, so I got to call Warwick, Warwick, Rhode Island, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, I, I, I think I can do that. Um, if you want, I can, I can obtain the number real quick for you that is to your local area. Uh, uh sure, maybe, it, maybe that, that, that'd that be great. Give me one second. Not a problem, take all the time you need. Yeah. All right, and... Cause, cause, so, uh, do they have like a business services or something where I can run my porn website off of too? They have a business. <laughs> have you a business find service. it funny that I run a porn website? No, it's just I'm, I've actually got friends in the porn business, but I'm not. It, uh, yeah, they find it a little funny, sir. Um, they do have a business telephone number though. So. Uh, uh, maybe maybe I should get the business telephone number. This way I can run my porn website and my internet radio station. Do they have a really fast business <laughs> services? Yeah, they got a great one, sir. <laughs> All right, guy, don't even bother giving me the number. This is a great call. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> Thanks, guy. All right. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> 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 I have friends in the porn industry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Cock Communications <laughs> proudly presents um. All Market Porn. <laughs> no wonder we can't get our internet no right. I know, because they can't. They can porn. <laughs> Oh my That's where the name come from. That's where the name come from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. A- after that one guy, I, I, I couldn't keep a straight face and talk to this guy. As soon as he said he has, he's got buddies in the porn business. <laughs> I couldn't keep it straight. I had to tell him it was a crank call. <laughs> Slashy, you call it an escort service. <laughs> you know what you should have done? You know what you should have said? You should have said, well, can I get them in my side? I'm sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Slashy, you, you, you know what it is? I think Slashy gave us numbers specifically so that he didn't have to talk. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I did the, uh...
Wait, Slasher's Wait, calling the happy hooker bait. All right. All right. That'll probably be an answer machine or voicemail. <coughs> I hear my first name. I hear my first name. The toll free number you have dialed has been disconnected. No further information is. Why well, do you like that, that number? Do this one. All right. Do this. One eight hundred. Five four five eight seven four seven. What is it? Hooker Avenue Travel. This is the Hooker. This is the Hooker Travel Company. Oh, no, this is travel. Thank you for calling Hooker Avenue Travel. Our office hours are from eight thirty a.m. to five thirty p.m. They travel Monday through Friday and Saturday from nine to one. If you are calling during business hours, all of our agents must be on another line. Oh, they got agents. Leave a message. Please press three now. I'll use slash. Hit three. Hit three. Mary, press one. Joanne, press two. For Jody, press four. For Rich, press six. For Kathy, press seven. Dude, should we talk to Mary? Mary, press one. Mary, press one. One. Hi, this is Mary. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and we'll return your call. Thanks for calling. Yes, Mary. Ah, yes, I was Mary. looking up oh, traveling bookers, and I was directed to you. And I was directed to you. My name is Mark Osprey. My name is Mark Osprey. And I was looking for a little erotic for a invitation, little if, you know invitation I mean. if you know what I mean. You can call me. You can call me at 662-842-8422. And I am in Tupelo. And I am in Tupelo. Mississippi. Mississippi. Please give me a call. Please give me a call. And tell me what your going rates are per hour. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! Can <laughs> <laughs> we come out? Which one's there? Which one's there? Should we call him back and leave another one? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Terrorize the whole group. <laughs> no, no, no. We can't redial it. Oh, 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 and bring it right back to her. Want to bet? I'll do it. I'll do it. Take a phone. I'll do it. Do you want to guy this I'll time? No. 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 We can go through the whole roster. <laughs> Steven wants to do Judy. Steven wants to do Judy. Thank you for calling Hooker Avenue Travel. Our office is just for travel. 530 p.m. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Hi, this is Annette. Oh, she's so sexy. She's on the phone. If you leave your name and number, I will return your call as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Annette. I found your internet. number on the internet. Number I'm on looking internet. for some I'm some sexual healing. Kid, could you please give me a call Kid, back? Could you please give me a call back? <laughs> At 704 I am so looking forward to this. I am just I just want to I to get down with you tonight, man. Get down with you tonight, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm having a good pack. Uh yes sir. I went into your establishment the other evening. Hey, let's Steven call one. Hey, let's Steven call one. Let's Steven call one of the travel let's hookers. Call one of the travel hookers. <laughs> I need the number back. Girl or guy. <coughs> Does Steven want a girl or a guy? Girl. Hey, Get closer to the mic now, Steven. Give him that Judy or Jody chick. <laughs> God damn, that voice mail takes forever. The Gentleman Project. We're not able to take your call right now. What? Either on another line or it's after our regular business hours. Your call is very important to us, so please leave us a message, include your name and a phone number, and a good time to reach you, or you can try us again later. We are here every day of the week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. This is a new one. Thank you for calling. Uh, yes, um, I I'm trying to find out more information about your company. Um, could you send me a, a, a an email, please, if you don't mind? At a, at a spam at t u n m e q dot u s. Yes, that 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 that'd be my personal website too. So I, I, I'm looking for that information. My name is Mark, last name Osprey. So please give me a call. Now what the fuck did I call? 
one eight hundred five four five seven eight four seven. No eight seven four seven four seven. Oh. Whoops. Hey, we got a free number then. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Jody. I, I just stepped away from my guest, so I'm on another line. Please leave a message here, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. My office hours are 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. It's Friday. If I'm not in and it's an emergency and you'd like to speak to someone else, please hang up and dial back. Thank you. Hello, this is Jody. I just stepped away from my guest, so I'm on another line. Please leave a message here, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. My office hours are 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. It's Friday. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two men's dying over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the big one. He's going back to see Alba. Is he still on the couch, man? Is he still on the couch, man? Is he still on the couch? <laughs> I want him off my couch. He's on the couch. He's on the couch. <laughs> Get him off my couch. <laughs> oh God, you should call her back, okay, man. Call I just want her off my, man. my couch. You just done pill aside. You just done pill aside. <laughs> wow. Dude, my fucking head, dude. You know what kind of fear is going to happen that uh, tomorrow morning at that uh, travel agency when everybody gets up and checks their voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, what the fuck? They're going to be screaming about the devil's going to be Thank you for calling Comp USA. Please listen carefully as our menu has Want changed. Me to take this one? No. It is no longer necessary to dial one in order to verify that you have a touchtone phone. Woohoo! Wow. Or the address and Technology. phone number of the store near <laughs> which you have press a one. <laughs> to obtain information on price and availability or to place an order, press two. For customer service or rebate requests, press 3. To locate a training facility in your area, press 4. Train to, to locate what? a technical service facility oh, in your area, facility. press 5. To schedule on-site appointments, check status of your on-site service or purchase a technical service appointment for your home or office, please press 6 now. Thank you for choosing Comp USA Services, providing over 10 years of service and support at homes and businesses and at each of our stores nationwide. Our dispatch team can help you schedule on-site appointments, check status of your on-site service, or purchase a technical services appointment. If you would like to return to the main menu, please push the pound key. If you have already purchased services, please have your receipt or existing service request number available <laughs> and remain on the line for our next service agent. Windows 95 on a Commodore 64. Here's this one. Here's this. I'll take it. Thank you for calling Comp USA Onsite Appointment Center. My name is Mike. How may I help you? How you doing, Mike? My name is Mark. How are you tonight? I'm fine, Mark. How are you? And uh, bad reason I'm calling, Mike, is uh, I guess you guys missed an appointment with me today. Somebody was supposed to come and install Windows 95 on my Commodore 64. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Mike? Well, uh, it, it, it can be done, can't it? Uh, I don't know. Well, Microsoft said it could. Okay, well, that's not something we would have set up an appointment for, I doubt. Really? Because I went through Think Geek, uh, the Best Buy people. They said they could do it. And, uh, and, and then I called Microsoft to make sure, and they said they think they can do it. And so then I called you guys and set up an appointment yesterday. Okay, well, do you have an appointment number? Uh, no, the guy didn't give me one. I think the guy was laughing at me. He didn't give you an appointment number. You had no appointment set up. That's that, that, that's not good. How, how am I supposed to get my Commodore 64 fixed? Take it to the store is what I would suggest. Take take, take it to a Comp USA store? That's correct. Or should I bring it to the Best Buy people? Because they said they could do it. Whatever you want to do, sir. Uh, wh wh what would you suggest? 
I need to get this camera 64 working again. Uh, whatever whatever uh, you choose to do. Is there anything else that we can do to help? Because I know that's not something that we set up appointments for. Uh, I, I thought I did, but okay, if you if you say so, sir. Okay, well, thank you for calling Copy of this on-site appointment, sir. Yep, you're useless. Asshole! Finally, hey, somebody hey, hey. that barely hey, knows hey, what you're doing. Credit? Do you, do you what? He didn't know what Commodore was, and he was laughing, and he didn't say he could do it. He didn't say he could do it. He knew what a commoner was, and he said I could not do it. He didn't say yeah, he, he could, that. but he didn't yeah, say he, he couldn't. He just said that was something that... Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. at least he did. He did. Yeah. He did. He did. He did. What? Yeah, at least he knew, but he couldn't say it because... He couldn't say it because... No, of course yeah. not, because you got to have the ability to be able to do it. That's right. But, you know, he was kind of laughing there in the beginning, like... Kind of laughing there in the beginning, like... Oh, yeah, you heard him go at it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you slapping at, Slash? Yeah, people out there, no, come to USA work. They, they at least have decent, decent support. Decent. Yeah, a Geek Squad, that's by Geek Microsoft. Squad, that's by Microsoft. Microsoft. Everybody said, oh, we can install Everybody that, just fine. Oh, we can install that, just fine. <laughs> For a fee of seventy nine ninety nine. Good damn, that's 99. a lot of money, you Jews. Ah, speaking of Jews. <laughs> that's still the best part. Eli, you're calling the Jewish Center in California. Alright. <laughs> asking asking for a written apology for the death of Jesus. Gonna be on the Thank machine. you for calling the Southern California Jewish Center. Someone will be with you shortly. Please wait. Transferring. Thank you for calling the Southern California Jewish Center. How can I help you? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Are you there? Bitch! Ah. Good man, we lost her! Call her back. Call her back. Say it was a cell phone. Thank you for calling the Southern California Jewish Center. How can I help you? Hello, hello ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yes, can I help you? Hello. Hello. Yes, um, hello? Uh, yes, ma'am? Uh, yeah, yes, we're hitting up on it. We, we, we lost her. It is, it, it's not working. She's, she's not going to buy it now. You could always try it. No, it's not going to work now. All right, we'll have to save that one for later. 4.0. The Jews of West Baker. The Jews of West Baker. Travel ass in, all you, Eli. Alright. Good happy hooker beat. Thank you for calling Travel Associates. You have reached the desk of Tony Pendleton. At this time, the office is closed. Our operating hours are from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. At the tone, if you would please leave a message, your call will be returned as soon as possible. Thank you again for calling Travel Associates. Yes, uh, I have this yes, down uh, here as the travel afternoon. I looked this up on the phone book. I, I'd like to book a reservation. I, I'd like to uh, ha have a suite with two women. Uh, yeah. uh, and I would like to uh, I'd have a hot tub in my room. Because I like some water sports. And also, and you sound awful gay. You don't have, this is a gay resort, is it? Because I couldn't stand that. I'm looking for, for hot women. I'm like a, I think I could handle some lesbian women, but I, I don't know if I could, I could deal with that. So, so my name is Mark Oscar. Mark Oscar. Well, you call me back. Well, you call me back. My business line is 1-800-370-7073. That's my personal business line, and I'm there 24-7. Thank you, and I look forward to doing business with you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what number is that, Eli? Oh, uh, safety. Uh, the Jewish Center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, John, this one's yours. What? Extra paycheck? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see if I can, if I can, like... Yeah, what up, Mika? I got one, I got one. I got one. Oh, Jim, Jim, stop a crack enterprise. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Stop a crack. Shh. Call the Free Willy Foundation. 
Hello, thank you for calling Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. If you just watched the Free Willy movie and you want to adopt a whale or order <laughs> Free Willy <laughs> movie, whale. please call the Keiko Foundation. I got a whale that lives next door. 788-3666. Or you can visit their website at <laughs> www.keiko.com. That's www.keiko.com. <laughs> For more information about this, please press 1. If you are calling for one of the following reasons, to make a donation or order merchandise by credit card, to receive a Sea Shepherd visa application, or to receive information about Sea Shepherd, you can email us at seashepherd at seashepherd.org. That's S-E-A-S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D at seashepherd.org. My God, shut up. Or to leave us a message, please press 2 now. You have reached the Sea Shepherd Information, Donation, and Merchandise. Free your will, man. Free your will, You, will, you, will, you, will, you, will, you can make will. your donation or order your Sea Shepherd merchandise by leaving your name, Put it up for telephone Put number, it up for your address, your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express number, and the expiration date. Please look oh, the amount of your donation. And whenever ordering merchandise, please be specific and tell us the color size, and quantity that you would like. Ooh. If you are calling for printed information or a Sea Shepherd visa application, please leave us your name and address, and we will mail that ready to for you this, as soon as this. possible. Please let us know how you heard about Sea Shepherd. At the tones, speak slowly and clearly, and leave us a brief message. On behalf of Captain Watson, the crew, and all of us at Sea Shepherd, thank you for caring about marine wildlife. Hi, how you doing? My name is Mark Osprey, and the um, reason I'm calling is I'm looking for a couple of whales to come over and help me out. Um, yeah, I have this really good bait that I've been using. This it, it, It's called Robert's Happy Hooker Bait, and I was hoping that you could send some whales over so I could try it on them. I, I do like bigger women, so make sure they're nice and big. And, um, could you, <laughs> could you please bring, send those to me as soon as possible? Um, my current address is, uh, 17 Benton Road Road, Bentonville, Arizona. And that's, uh, zip codes, uh, 72716. And you can send those COD, I don't mind. Um, if you don't mind, I'll even give you a couple of thousand dollars extra. I, I like making donations, you know. Um, I, I, I do love whales very much. And, and, and quiet, honey. You, you, don't worry, honey, you're next. Don't worry about it. But yes, I, I, I need a few more. Oh, yeah. Um, so could you please, please send me some more whales? Yes, thank you. I, I, I do have a nice big tank for them. It, it, it's long and round and it, it fits in them very really nicely. So please, if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me at 1-800-936-4666. Seven three and um, just ask for Mark Osprey. Okay, thank you very much and have a great day. Well, we oh my oh God! My God. <laughs> we, I got one. Man. I got one. We, we, well, we, got we one. found our new uh, fake address, <laughs> the Walmart address <laughs> in Bentonville, <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I yeah, the Arizona work better because it's dry. <laughs> <I got one. laughs> You got crack one. Theme crack store. Theme store. <laughs> it's the crack theme store. <laughs> What's the number? Feed. Like, you know, feed, like feed, 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 feed. Crack store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm real interested in growing yeah. some crack. <laughs> What's the number? What's the number? One eight hundred. Yep. Nine three three. Yep. Oh four oh five. Oh five. Damn, this homebrew beer packs a kick. <laughs> homebrew 40s. Homebrew 40s. <laughs> nah, homebrew 12s. Alright. All right. I got this one. Hello, we are unable to answer right now. To send a fact, please start transmission. To leave a voice message, please speak after the beep. Thank you. Yeah, man, my, my supplier yeah, just man, ran out on me. Uh, this is the crack seed store, right? I need some seeds. I need some seeds now. I need some seeds now. I, 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 I
Uh, my, my, my crack supplier just run out. And, and I've got like 15 clients that really, really need those really, really crack. I need like 15 kilos of crack. I'm thinking I can grow it in like a couple months. But, you know, hydroponics and all that good stuff, man. Also, if you can help me, I need some like weed. We need to be really good. I need some more crack, though, man. I need more crack. I need more crack. You got the wrong number. Oh, oh my god. You've got the wrong number. <laughs> I thought that was just a machine. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, you've got the wrong number. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I'm going to have cops pounding <laughs> in my bed. <laughs> 933-0405? Yeah, what about them? I just called them. Oh, so I have the wrong number, huh? 933-0405-1800. That's the crack store. Yeah, that was the crack yeah. store. Yeah, that was the crack, yeah, that was the crack store. store. That's who you just called that they answered the phone on. After you started going into your whole crack bit. Stop a crack enterprise. Yeah, stop a crack enterprise. Stop a crack enterprises. Who wants to run that one? Yeah. Uh, 1-800. Uh, 1-800. Two nine six two nine six three zero nine three three zero nine three. Slashy, you want this one? Got it. Stop a crack. Stop a crack. Stop your your pants. You got your pants. Your pants. Your plumber. Your plumber. Hello, hey, Mueller. Hello. Hello. Who's yeah, my crack is yeah, uh leaking. My crack is leaking. My kid. Very bad. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is it to stop the crack Goodbye. enterprises? Stop. Hello? 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 That was, no. That must no. be another one of those, uh, like that funeral home. Yeah. Where they just live yeah. where they were. Where they just yeah. live where they were. And for some dumbass reason, they have no. a okay. 800 number. No. Okay. Crack masters. Crack masters. <laughs> Stop a crack wind chill. Stop a crack wind chill. Oh God. How about how about, uh, how about Stephen? Uh, how about uh, Stephen? Calls a wedding ring company. Calls a wedding ring right. company. Right. And uh, and, uh, talks to Spiegel and, uh, or talks whatever that guy's Spiegel name is. Oh, uh, uh, Gollum. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got the wedding ring company in California. In California. All right. Eight hundred. Four two one. Four two one. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Hello. Thank you for calling Wedding Room. If you know your party's extension, please enter it now. For customer service, please press 5. For first, thank you. One moment, please. Oh, my God. Gay Bob Ministries. Gay Bob it's a religious Ministry. organization. What the fuck? Where are these people? You want I should just cut it? Yeah. yeah. Who was it? We got a number for you. We got a number for you. Alright, hold on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Hey, John, stop that bar. That it was another one of those funeral home type things <laughs> where the person lives where they works. Oh, really? He picked up. Well, I found a gay travel place. You found a gay travel place? Yeah. Ooh, crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Ooh, gay crew. Oh, what's the number? Sounds like it would be exciting. Alright, alright, alright. Oh. Alright, what's the number? I'll get this one. 1888. Yep. 465. This is worth waiting for a cigarette for. Go ahead. 0623. Promo Tours. And it's got gay travel agency. As a script. Am I going with you? <laughs> 32 4. The number you have dialed is invalid or blocked from your area code. Please check your listing and try your call again. Motherfucker. What the fuck is that? What do you call? <laughs> oh, hello. 32 4. The number you have dialed is. Nope. Alright, uh, okay, okay, we're gonna we're call gonna the call rings, rings people, people out of Michigan. Alright, what's the number? 
Thank you for calling to the Water Brothers Landscaping. I'm sorry I can't take your call right now. I'm sorry, the name, number, and brief message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you need to get a hold of me immediately, I can reach you on the page right here. Sexy toys. I don't need sexy toys. Just ask my grandma. Just ask my grandma. Thank you for calling Radio Shack. You're calling Radio Shack? I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. Thank you for calling Radio Shack. If you are calling from a touch tone phone, press one now. For the phone number and address of a Radio Shack store in your area, press one. To order products or services from Radio Shack or to check order status, Press 2. For information about the repair shop at Radio Shack, press 3. For our customer care center, press 4. Please hold while your call is transferred. You went into a Radio Shack and the guy blew up Radio your Shack item. Customer care center. Your call is important to us and may be recorded to ensure quality customer service. I'll do a face down to CB Radio. If your concern involves a dish satellite system return, press 1. If you have a question about a rebate, press 2. If you need a copy of a sales ticket, press 3. If your concern involves a Radio Shack franchise store, press 4. To speak with Radio Shack customer care, press 5. Thank you for calling customer care. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Central Time, excluding holidays. Nope, no good. Okay. No good. All right. All right. One eight hundred thirty thirty or one eight hundred three two one sixty four seventy five. Seventy five. What is the number? Three two one? Yeah. Yeah. What's the rest? Sixty four what? Seventy five. This is Eli. What is it? Radio strip. Radio strip. Called them. Nobody's there. Is that the number you just called? Is that the number you just called? No, but it's it's different. But no, how about a flower shop, guys? What we gonna order? A pizza. A pizza. <laughs> a pizza. Oh, I can order oh, no, Chinese food. This is the Bona Vista Motel. Bona Vista Motel. Hang on. Thank you for calling. A floral representative will be with you shortly. Thank you for calling Florison today. This is Keisha. Can I help you place an order? Hello? Yes, thank you for calling Florison today. Oh, yes. Uh, can I get an order of egg full young, um, some pork fried rice? This is a flower shop. Oh, this is flower shop? This isn't Chinese food? No, this is a flower shop. Oh, no. I need 24 hour Chinese food. No, this is a flower shop. But it says 24 hour Chinese food here. You and it have, says you deliver. You must have dialed the wrong number because this is a um, flower shop. 1 800 You dialed the wrong number. I did? Yes. 1 800 I don't know the 1 800 number. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Okay, then, uh, you don't have Chinese food? No. You know number for Chinese food? No. Oh. Okay, then, thank you. Okay, thank you for calling Flower Center today. Have a nice day. Oh, you flower? Yes. 
Yeah. Oh, maybe I send flour to wife. Do you deliver to Korea? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Um, how much for those? Yeah. Yes, I don't, um, uh, how many good number? Just one second. Oh, so you, somebody in background say plant too? You sell plants? Mm hmm What kind of plants do you sell? Can I have a city in Korea? Uh, the city in Korea? Mm-hmm. Seoul. Could you spell it? S-O-L-E. Hold on, just one second, okay? Okay, not a problem. This is funny. This is funny. From Chinese food to sending flowers to Korea. Welcome to the Osprey Radio Network. Please hold while we transfer your call. You're probably gonna be on hold till you hang up. Probably. Hang that little bit on it. Hang that little bit on it. Wife not happy. Come on, lady. Dumb beach. <laughs> Dumb beach. I want egg from young. I want opium plant and egg from young. Hello. Hello. Yes, we could do um twelve long stem roses for seventy dollars. Oh, twelve long stem roses for seventy dollars. Mhm. Oh, oh, uh, is twelve good number? Yes, that's a dozen. That's a dozen. Mhm. Oh, what what kind of plants do you have? Like I, like I said, I heard somebody say in the background plants. Do you, do you have poppy plants? Um, I'm not sure what type of plants we could do. A, um, a single plant we could do an average price of forty-seven. Um. Uh, and, and, and do I get to choose what kind of plant? I could request, but I'm not sure what type of plant. They will have to call you back and let you know what type of plants that they have. Oh, so I, I couldn't, like, order marijuana? I could request marijuana. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that, that is a very nice flower in Korea. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I call you back after I find Chinese food. Okay, thank you for okay. coming. You have a nice day. We have 24 hours. Are you? Yes. Oh, great. No, you, but you don't have Chinese food? No. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, bye now. That is definitely going up. Oh my god. Type in the IRC. Type in the IRC. I put I put you know, the uh, put, address yeah, for yeah, Walmart in South Korea. Walmart. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Well, I guess wife live in demilitarized zone. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. She would never fly. She would have talked about being just fake languages like, just, you know, like, come to the angle and move the angle. Oh, I don't think I got that. You German, you like. You like all German. Thank you for calling National Flora, an FTD.com company. For fast and easy online ordering, visit our website at www.nationalflora.com. To place a new order, press 1. To speak with a customer service, ask them if they sell weed. The National Flora order hotline. In German. For quality assurance, this call may be monitored. Please hold while we connect your call. Shut up, voice in my head. The voice in my head once Special people in your life head. know just how important they are to you. What about the voice in your head? Online at www.com. Take me to run naked down the street. Take me to run naked down the street. Thank you for choosing FTD.com. My name is Chantal. What can I do for you today? Guten Tag. Pardon? Guten Tag. Wenn Sie nur noch sehen, dann. Ja? What was your question? Wenn Sie nur noch sehen, dann. Ich bin in Deutschland. Ich bin in Deutschland. What a bitch! Why can't we die? You turned your mic down. What a bitch! Yeah. What a bitch! I say we call them back. I I, I say they get the opium plants this time. Hey Eli, you want to call another propane company? Sure. Sure. This is Frank here. This is Frank here. This is more Osprey here. Osprey here. This is Hank Hill. This is Hank Hill. Your call may be recorded for quality control purposes. So are yours. In order to expedite your call, please select from one of the following options. 
To report a spill or gas leak, press 1 now. Do you have a gas report leak now, Eli? Failure, or if you need to I'm sure, yeah. Air, I'm sure, yeah. Air. No, it is. Thank you for calling us a bourbon. This is James. I'm going to help you. Yeah, I think I have a gas leak. Yeah, I think I have a gas leak. Okay, um, okay. Where, do you, where is it all coming from? It's coming from my furnace. It's coming from my from furnace. Your furnace? Yeah. Yeah. From behind it. From behind, behind it? it. Can, um, yeah. Do you hear anything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It makes a noise. Yeah. yeah. You, it makes a noise. Oh, you hear it? Yeah. It smells pretty bad. Do you smell anything too? What? Do you smell anything? Yes, it smells pretty bad. Yes, it smells okay. pretty bad. Can I have, um, can you turn off the tank? The, the, the what? The, the tank? The tank? I don't think so, no. I could always go outside and find out. I could always go outside and find out. Hello? Yes, it is. Hello. Yeah, I'm still here. Yes, still here. I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I'm on the cell phone. I'm sorry, I'm on the cell phone. What'd you say? I'm on the cell phone. Alright, what you need to do is um, call 911. Oh, I need to call 911? Yeah. You seem so calm about this. Is, is, is it that serious? It. Well, I have to stay calm. Why are you so calm? Oh. Uh, cause I'm not. I, I'm speaking out. Alright. So call 911 and let them know that you have a, uh, Alright, so I need to call 911 because I'm farting that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> 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 hey, Slasher, this one's for you. Slasher, you're calling the hump. You're calling the one socket motor in. You're calling the one socket motor in and asking to run a um. You're gonna try to do the uh um. I don't know some kind of yeah. Run the brothel. I did this the last time. I did it. Yo. Morning, socket motor in. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, I'm looking to I'm run looking a brothel to through your a what? A hotel motel hotel. service? Yeah, there's some hotel. Yeah, a place where yeah, my place where my host can take customers. We gotta be alright. Hello? Yeah, I'm DC. I'm DC. <laughs> you heard the word ho. You heard the word ho and hung up. Would you say dial some hookers? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know any. Alright, let's try another one. Um, let's not do a brothel this time. Um, ask him if you can turn it into the travel ass in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tell them we, we, yeah, we, no, we have a group. We have a group. Our, our group is uh, our group. the uh, 50 State Sex Club. 50 State Sex Club. There you go. Hey, I got one. Hey, I got you one. You got one? A number or do you want to do it? Yeah, I want to do one. Well, uh, uh, well some, hotel. Uh, uh, some hotel. Some hotel. Thank you for calling the Hilltop Inn. You know you party bench. Please dial it now. Order. Just near you or who? Just near you or who? Thank you. Just near you. Hold while I transfer your call. Hello? 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 Yes, sir, I'd like to make reservations. Yes, yeah, I'd like to make reservations. Yes. Dave. And what time will be here? We're having a, uh, having a, a gathering. Uh, okay. It's called the Express It Net the Gathering. Uh, what time will be here? Uh, we will be there uh, on uh, Thursday. Okay. Uh, around 4 p.m. Uh, excuse me? Okay, what's the date? Dave? Huh? What's that? What's the date? Oh, the date, I'm sorry. Hello. Date is the, the 25th. Date is 25th. 25th? Okay, okay. I'll keep one room for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you need um, any more information? Chicago? Um, yeah, I'll keep one room for you, that's no problem. Okay then, thank you very, very much. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be here at 4 o'clock, right? Yeah, yeah 4 o'clock, yes. O okay. Okay? Yes, thank 4 o'clock. Yeah. Yes, have a great night. Yeah, yeah, bye bye. Hey Lala! Go back to India. Shut him on! Great, now Dave's gonna, Dave's gonna place the sleep pad near my house now. Shit, I didn't think the Hilltop Inn was run by an Arab. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the one you should have asked about running the house. Or about the bar. A brothel? <laughs> yes, brothel. Very good, very good. What is brothel? <laughs> is that some kind of meal? Alright guys, it's time to wrap this show up. It's probably one of the longest uh, pointless audio shows. So um, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, a lot of good calls. A lot of great calls tonight. Yeah, definitely. Yep. It's time to get the fuck off. Team and
Broadcasting live on the Osprey Radio Network. This show was Pointless Audio. Views and opinions expressed on the show are nothing but the show's program listeners. But please, stay tuned next week for the new edition of the Pointless Audio Radio Program on the Osprey Radio Network, www.ospreynet.info. I just went off my couch. <laughs>